Hello and welcome to Path Made Easy. Today's example is a salivary duct carcinoma. So this particular example is a metastasis to the skin, hence why you're seeing the epidermis covering this particular biopsy. But the morphology is the same regardless of it being in the skin or obviously in the parotid gland or somewhere similar. Um, so what we can see is that we have solid nests and lobules of epithelial cells and they definitely have a somewhat cribriform architecture with multiple cystic spaces dividing up these solid islands. If we look more closely we can see that some of these cyst-like spaces contain comedotype necrosis. Whenever I see necrosis in saliva gland tumours I tend to associate it with high-grade tumours uh, and obviously a salivary duct carcinoma is considered a high-grade salivary neoplasm. So we have necrosis. If we look at these uh, cystic spaces in more detail, there's a hint of kind of apocrine blebbing as well, which is another feature you might see. The cells making up this tumour have quite ample eosinophilic cytoplasm. Um, I can see there's quite a variation in cell size and nuclear size, so there's some pleomorphism. For instance, there's a huge cell there, and that's got a very large nucleus, say, compared to this one here. And we can also see some abnormal mitosis. So it's ticking the boxes for something high grade. So as well as uh, this cribriform architecture of necrosis, sometimes you might see some kind of Roman bridging, which is where you get strips of epithelial cells dividing up the cystic spaces, perhaps not the best example in, in this particular field, but it's, it's, it's showing a hint of that. So this salivary duct carcinoma is typically positive for cytokeratin 7 and androgen receptor. They don't tend to show expression of basal and myoepithelial markers like P63, S100 and SMA, uh, predominantly just an epithelial neoplasm. Um, the main differential diagnosis um, would be a metastatic uh, ductal breast carcinoma, which has very similar morphology. The tumours in the breast, however, tend to be positive for ER and PR, unlike the ones originating in the salivary gland. If the ER and PR are negative, um, then you need to exclude a breast carcinoma through clinical history and imaging. So this was a salivary duct carcinoma. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Path Made Easy.